Okay guys, this is gonna be the fourth burger we try in the Burger Quest. So to recap real quickly, there was a first place I went by the Walmart. That was really good, man. The one with the bacon and the ham and the cheese that had the big cheese stretch. That was a good burger. Then we had the one across the street here. Not so hot. <laughs> that was the one that I was really hard on, mainly because of how expensive it was. Then we had the third burger, which you just saw, that was the Subway burger I had, the one in the Subway and the Metro Station. It was better than the one across the street here, but it was still like a weird patty that wasn't 100% beef. It was like some kind of soybean-like stuff. It was better than the one I had over there. The price was okay, but I think the one I'm gonna have today is gonna be the first one yet, and hopefully real beef. I think that first one I mentioned the one I had over by the Walmart was actually uh, real beef. It was a skimpy kind of part of it that was the beef, but it was really good and it had the ham and bacon, so that kind of added to the meat volume. So I'm waiting for my buddy Omar, hopefully before long. I'm super early sitting out here, but I just enjoy sitting here and people watching. Um, but about five o'clock, we're gonna go down the road here to a place called Magic Prime. I don't know if it's Magic Burger or Magic Prime. I swear I thought I saw a sign that says Magic Burger. It's down there on the way to one of my favorite taco spots. We're gonna go over there. I'm gonna see what a Mexican recommends from the menu. There's different types of, uh, different types of ones available. And from Omar's perspective as a native Mexican, he said he couldn't believe that I, had burgers or that they have burgers in the u.s that don't have ham on them i guess to him that sounds like a requirement also there's the hawaiian style with the pineapple and stuff i think i'm probably just gonna go for a double meat with cheese like a plain one because that's gonna make it a more even comparison to the other ones we've had so far and then maybe we can narrow the list down to a couple of the best spots and try some of those other varieties like the hawaiian burger like the arrecha which is with skirt steak kind of be more similar to a fajita but i imagine they grind it and it's just going to be like a fattier patty so we'll see when omar shows up here and we'll be going down there and doing burger quest volume four here we are magic prime hamburguesas al carbone burgers and fries we're gonna try this place out okay guys here's the burgers I'm going for the double, double carne con queso, and Omar is getting the sencilla. So we're going to check this out. We're skipping the fries today. I just want to try a good big burger. She said they're 103 grams, which is pretty much just under a quarter pound. I don't know if that's before or after cooking, but we're going to see. All right, guys, this smells like a real burger. Look at this, peppers. This looks good. All right, guys, <clears throat> this looks good, man. I am a little surprised that they only put like one slice of cheese, though. Uh, yeah. Usually, uh, they put the big, 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 big one. like a big chunk. You, you do the same like me. I turn it, turn it <laughs> up, up, down, upside down. I can already tell you this is the winner. Yeah. Mm. Great taste. It's really good. Great taste. Flame broiled. Yeah. <laughs> I like the flavor. Al carne in um, Las Hamburguesas de Toro. Okay. Um, by uh, Circa de Ojoagua. Purple. Mmm. Okay. It's weird, man. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's frozen, frozen meat. Yeah, so. it's weird. <laughs> this is good though. So if somebody comes from America and wants to try a good Mexican burger, which 
variety? Do you say Sincia or Hawaiian? Uh, I will say a simple one. Simple. Yeah, Sincia. Yeah, because uh, with Hawaiian, it's just like with pineapple and sweet. I don't know. You're not a fan. Yeah. What about the arrachera? Arrachera. Si. Arrachera. Okay. Arrachera, I like it. Uh, it has another flavor, and it's uh, many times when you ask for a burger, it's a little bit uh, high. Right, but they grind it, right? Yeah. Because that's the meat we use skirt steak for fajitas. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. Sincia. It's basically just a burger with salsa. Mm -hmm. There's mustard too. Um, but I don't think they put mayonnaise. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> mayonnaise, mustard, and salsa. Uh, uh, Mexican, we put sauce to everything. Mm -hmm. Like lemon. <laughs> I don't like lemon, like uh, being a Mexican and don't liking the lemon thing. Uh, to, even to tacos, I don't like it because oh, it takes all the flavor of the meat. So. Uh, that's the Mexican food, but with the sauce, I'm always good with sauce. You guys can see it. It's pretty much standard American burger plus salsa. And this has kind of a, looks like green salsa, right? Salsa verde. Yeah. Mm. I like it. This is really good. Yeah, it has a great flavor, actually. And this is a serious patty, man. Yeah. I think this might be quarter pound after cooking. Mm -hmm. It's really big. I think next time I try the arrachera with a single patty. Yeah. Now, if I'm going to be super picky, the only thing I can say is the tomatoes, at least on mine, could have been a little more ripe, but they're still really good. They're still probably better than you're typically going to get in the U.S. It's just that that Subway burger I went to, man, that had the most, like, perfect red tomatoes. But this is still better than... You can't get good tomatoes in the U.S. It's difficult. They're always pink. Con rosa, right. no rojo. Not right. Pick. They pick too early. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. for more shelf life. Yeah. So, uh, sit in the tiene longer. I, I don't like to try them like that because they are not even good to eat. Mm -mm. But, well. Like a tennis ball, <laughs> rubber. Okay. Not soft. No, no, so so hard to mm -hmm. the touch. Like a Chi Chi's minty rosas. <laughs> How do you say fake? Falsas. <laughs> uh, oh, why did you compare tomatoes with? Chichi's falsas. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Always make Omar laugh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because I want to eat them, I guess. I want <laughs> to eat. I want to eat a uh, verdad. Okay. No falsas. No falsas. No fake ones. Okay. You you can find those the fake ones here too much in Polanco. Oh my god. There are too many fake. I saw this woman. She had not only implants upstairs but downstairs. 
then uh, oh okay yeah wow. dude it was ridiculous it was like yeah it's like this one and uh, his finger it's like a cartoon or something it's not even real <laughs> like, like these animes <laughs> you know the ones like <laughs> like the <Lulu> the cartoon <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> oh no no uh, do you remember the, the movie Who Cheat to Roger Rabbit? Mm -hmm. Like Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, like sí. Jessica Rabbit. Pero, pero, <laughs> in a small, in a small size. Como se dice, uh, cortada. Chapar chaparita. Chaparita. Yeah, chaparita. <laughs> Un chaparita <laughs> version of Jessica uh, Rabbit. Uh, <laughs> it looks like uh, the bottle of that coke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the chewy one. <laughs> yep, the eight peso coke. <laughs> oh, Whatever it is. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> you, you already. <laughs> okay. Okay. You compare a small, well, uh, uh, average size of that of a uh, Mexican woman with. Uh, just grab it in small size, so it's crazy, <laughs> and that's the truth, actually. All right, guys, I highly recommend it. Very delicious. I think this is the best we've done so far. So, I want to get Omar to try this other one by the Walmart. Maybe when we, uh, there's another exciting thing he was just telling me about this like tram train, yeah, that we can use the bus pass for, so or the metro pass. So, thanks, Omar. We'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.